sound 20 minutes before the hour. British rock singer Phil Collins may not look like a flamboyant rock star, but millions of fans decided he was the man to watch and hear in 1985. He played both sides of the Atlantic during the Live Aid concert. He had five top ten singles, and he became the only performer to hit the top of the American charts with three different songs last year, One More Night, Separate Lives, and Susudio. That's just one of the 1985 bestsellers from Phil Collins, who's joining us from London today to help launch 1986. Happy New Year, Phil. Happy New Year to you, too. Five top ten records, three of them going for number one. 1985 has to be considered a banner year for Phil Collins. Yeah. Uh, I'm hoping for another one this year, though. Um, no, it was very good. I, I had a, a great tour, and um, we had a lot of fun, and the kids seemed to like the records, so... I couldn't ask for anything more, really. Did anything not go quite the way Phil Collins would have wanted it to in 1985? <laughs> uh, there must have been something. No, I, I can't complain about anything. I've had a, a great time. I mean, uh, the Live Aid things, the, uh, my album and the, um, and the tour. I had my kids over the summer holidays. I had a great time. You had an Oscar-nominated song, Against All Odds, and that Oscar eluded you. And you didn't even get to perform it at the awards. Does that kind of stand out as a bitter moment, maybe? Oh, not really, no. I, I would have loved to have, uh, have got it because I feel that you only get one... Someone like myself only gets one crack at that kind of thing. And uh, I was very, very flattered to, um, to get as far as I did. And uh, it was a great experience just being there and seeing people like, uh, you know, Burt Lancaster, Kirk Douglas people like that live, you know, in front of you. So it was, it was great fun being there, but I'm not, um, I'll, I'll have another crack some other year. Yesterday we were talking with a couple of rock critics who said that rock and roll matured in 1985. My guess is that Phil Collins would agree with that statement. Yes, I, I think it did. I mean, I don't think that we should, um, I mean, because of the, the Live Aid thing, it kind of became a bit more respectable, I suppose. Uh, and the sort of the year of, of giving generously, but I think uh, that it's, it's still a young, it's still a young sort of thing. And uh, although the, some of us, I mean, I'm, in, I'm quite involved with the Prince Charles Trust, for instance, and I think that uh, although it appears that rock has become a bit more establishment, I think that it should still be viewed as a as a young person's thing. You know, mm -hmm. you were really in the thick of all that social awareness, the increased social awareness. I mean, you kind of got the ball rolling initially with Band Aid and in Live Aid. And you say that you think there'll be more of it in 1986. I, I don't uh, think that the, the, the same kind of concert stuff that happened with the Live Aid thing should happen again. I think it's got to be something different uh, because otherwise it's going to be comparisons made and I don't think that's necessarily the cleverest thing to do. I think that although the, the ball was started to be rolled back in July, I think it's obviously all that money that was generated has got to be used sensibly, which I'm sure Geldof's doing. But uh, it's got to carry on. They can't just stop now. You have also made your 1985 American TV acting debut in an episode of Miami Vice. Are we going to see more okay. acting from you? I think so. I used to do it when I was a teenager, you know, and uh, I, I, I kind of stopped because I always wanted to be in a professional group playing the drums. And so as soon as I was old enough, I, I did that. But uh, I kind of waited until this Miami Vice thing was over and done with to see whether I enjoyed it or not. And I had such a great time doing it and everyone was very, very helpful that uh, I'm going to be starting to look at some other scripts for films or anything anybody wants to send me, really. You're acting, you're a solo act, and you also perform with the group Genesis. My question is, how does Phil Collins do all of that? That's a, a Superman task. Well, there seems to be enough uh, hours in the day. I mean, at the moment, we're doing a Genesis album, and we're sort of two-thirds of the way through it. Um, I have two months off a year with my kids, so that always gives a bit of a full stop, you know, and time for a breather. But I, I enjoy it, you know, and with people asking me to work all the time, it's usually um, something that's going to, I'm going to learn from it and, and get a great deal of pleasure from. So I try and fit it in. Does 1986 hold a particular brass ring for you? Something to grab onto? 1986? Hold a what? <laughs> a particular goal that Phil Collins would like to. Oh, no, just a... I'm going to try, I, I made a resolution to try and shave a bit more often. <laughs> well, the Don Johnson and, uh, look is in now, you know, a little bit of stubble. 
Don learned it all from me, don't worry about it. <laughs> um, no, I'm going to sort of, I think I'm going to dedicate myself to uh, getting off my butt, butt and uh, working harder. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining us today. A very happy 1986 to you. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank everybody for making 1985 so nice for me. Very good. The time now is 15 before the hour, and we will be back.